What's going on guys? Welcome back to DCS World. Welcome back aboard the FA-18C Hornet for another tutorial. In this one, I just want to quickly point out a few of the POTAS functions of the Hornet. Uh, the Hornet has a, uh, at least by comparison to something like the A-10C, a somewhat rudimentary HOTAS, but it does have a HOTAS nonetheless with uh, some essential functions on it. Um, as we know already on our stick, we have our trim switch, which we've explored for uh, some of our flying tutorial videos already. But uh, another one that I want to point out, which is extremely important, and it's going to be very important as we move into some of the systems, is called the Sensor Control Switch, or SCS. It is a four-way hat switch with a depress function, so it essentially has five buttons. It's got a forward, left, right, and aft, as well as a depress. Uh, so if you haven't bound that control to your own HOTAS or located those controls on your keyboard or however your controls are set up, uh, make sure to do that. Uh, what does it do? So the way the Hornet is set up uh, somewhat similarly to the A10C is you can only control one of your sensors at a time. Um, your HUD is a sensor, your left and right DDIs are sensors, and your AMPCD, the lower screen, is a sensor. If we look here at my right side DDI, I'll just pause my screen here, uh, I've got my radar page up right now. Uh, full video on the radar coming up, so don't worry about the radar itself, but I want to point out this little diamond in the corner. This little diamond in the corner indicates that this is my selected sensor of interest. Now, officially it's not called sensor of interest in the Hornet, it's actually called TDC assignment. Um, but in a sense, this is the sensor that we're controlling. Now, if I back out and look over here, if I use my sensor control switch, and let's say I wanted to assign to the left DDI, if I go sensor control switch left, the diamond is moved to the left screen now, and I've got my harms format page up here. Um, again, full video on the harms coming up, so don't worry about that too much. But just know that I am now controlling this screen with my HOTAS. Now when I say assignment, I mean I'm assigning the TDC. So what is the TDC? TDC in this airplane is called the Throttle Designator Controller. It's on the throttle here. I can't really show it to you right this second uh, because it's facing away from us. But it's effectively a finger kind of a finger joystick on the throttle that allows us to sort of move things around. So if I look over at my radar page on the right side DDI again, that little yellow cursor in the middle, because I've got the diamond over here, I can move that cursor around with my TDC. Now, if my diamond was not there, so it's now on one of my other screens, I have no control over that cursor. If I want to control this cursor, I need to assign the TDC to the right-hand side DDI, like so. Okay? Really basic concept. If you've flown the A10C, you're familiar with the concept of sensor of interest. It's effectively the same thing. You can also assign the TDC to the lower screen, the AMPCD with sensor select switch aft. As you can see, the diamond is there now, and this is my situational awareness page. It has its own little cursor, and you can see I can move that cursor around with the TDC now. If my diamond was on the other screen, as before, I would not be able to control that cursor. The TDC can also be assigned to the HUD. If we look forward at the HUD, notice in my path vector there's a little dot let me just pause the camera there. Notice the little dot in the middle of the path vector. Right there. Okay? That 
indicates to us that the TDC is assigned to the HUD. Now this has a couple of different functions depending on um, what sort of weapons mode you might be in. Um, right now it's not indicating any symbology, but we'll see it in the future when we assign the TDC to the HUD for things like auto bombing and CCRP bombing functions and things of that nature. Um, but uh, for now, just know you can assign the TDC to the HUD and your indication that it is assigned is the little dot in the middle of the path vector there. If it were assigned elsewhere, there'd be no dot there, as you can see. Sensor select switch forward to assign the TDC to the HUD. Okay. So that takes care of the sensor select switch. Stand by one sec. Track IR. There we go. We also have a weapon selector switch. Now this is primarily for your air-to-air -air weapons. It's got a forward, left, right, and aft, just like the sensor select switch. However, weapon selector forward summons the gun. So we've got our Vulcan cannon gun. Full video on the gun coming later. Sensor select, a or correction, weapon selector aft summons our medium range AMRAAM missiles. Weapon selector right summons our Sparrow missiles. And weapon selector left summons our Fox 2 Sidewinder missiles. Full videos on each of these missiles coming up. I just wanted to point out the control switch for them. Last but not least, on the throttle, we have a... Um, in the real airplane, it's actually a rotating wheel or a rotating knob of sorts. Similar to like a mouse wheel on your computer mouse. It controls the radar's antenna elevation. Uh, real quick, right here on the radar page, this little carrot indicates my antenna elevation. I'm not going to go into too much detail here. Uh, that'll come later in the radar video. But with the antenna elevation control, I can move the antenna elevation up and down. Okay. So that's basically just what that does. So anyway, I hope that was helpful. And uh, we're going to apply all of these control concepts in videos very soon. So get a feel for what these controls do. And I'll see you next time. Take care.